Depot is bringing back the era when trains ruled transportation. Nicole Kahn takes us to the rehearsal of a historic play. It had the usual things that most small towns had, a livery stable, a doctor's office, and a hardware store. For the most part, Linden stayed off the map, except when the train stopped there and that one incident back around the turn of the century. There were a rash of robberies in Linden in 1895. Okay, and people were, were becoming paranoid around here. It was then the great Linden train robbery attempt of 1895 happened. It was about 20 past midnight. I had just counted the day's receipts, about $34, and started reading some, taking some messages on the telegraph. The drama replays at the depot Saturday, June 19th, when a hobo demands more than a train ticket. I said give me the money now! The story was mostly forgotten in Linden until president of the Linden Depot Museum, Gary Bierk, breathed new life into the stale tale. The more you delve into this, the more uh, interesting it gets. The names and faces of the era take form through Dick Yeager's writing. Most of the characters are actual characters who are mentioned in the news releases or news reports. This thing went from coast to coast in America. I read that through and I thought there's a story here and it's worth telling. The Sugar Creek players will interpret the events during two showings, proving life in a small depot town, even back at the turn of the century, was far from dull. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of the great Linden Depot robbery, a day that will live in infamy. Nicole Kahn, News Channel 18. Now you can catch the play at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. on Saturday, June 19th, Parking and seating are provided, and the fee is $5 for adults, 2 for children. Admission to the Depot Museum is included in that cost. Good.